Yeah, that, that's not a cat. That is fucking Dracula. That's what he does during the holidays. Just chilling in your house rent free for the winter. You know, pretending to be a cat and shit, using you as a cover while he gives your neighbors the suck. Mm, not a cat. It's a fucking vampire. Today was the trailer for Bambi 3. The Revenge. That kid's never gonna forget that shit. Be paranoid checking every bush for the rest of his fucking life. Okay, class, today we're gonna watch a movie. Yay! Watch Bambi! No! Was that an outlet? Why? Just use a spout! A regular spout! Don't try this shit at all! <laughs> hmm. Four you pages predicting futures now. You know, 50 years from now, it's gonna be me like. <laughs> what would you do if you came home and I was in your room? Quick question. Uh, how the fuck did you get in here? And second, what, what in the fuck are you eating? Husband! Where the fuck is my last ice cream sandwich? Okay, listen, I'm not entirely sure what she's about to do to you, but it's probably not going to be quick and painless, so uh, consider this a favor. Okay, let's see. Next ingredient was black powder. Last time I checked, it's in the store. Ricky! What up, fam? What the fuck was that? What was what? That in the storage room. Oh, somebody gave it to me. Excuse me, say what? And it was free. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Probably not legal now that I think about it. Ah, uh, yeah. No shit, it's not. Why would you take it? What? It was free. And they said it was good for colds. It would, you just need one. It'll clear your sinuses right up. How? How do you clear your sinuses with a fucking dragon? What? No, that's stupid. What are you talking about? We're talking about the dragon in the fucking storage room. What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Forget, forget I said that. What? You know what? I'm not gonna ask. Okay. But what is with the fucking dragon? Oh, that that's Frank. Frank. Yep. Then why is Frank here? I sort of just found him wandering the edge of the woods. Y you found it. Yeah. Then you brought it here. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, he said the forest he lives in got flooded all of a sudden and then ransacked by some giant monster thing. So I told him he could crash here until he finds some other place. Quick question. Okay, shoot. This dragon's home. Yeah? It wouldn't happen to be, I don't know, south of the Kragmar Range, would it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's the forest right at the base of the range. Another question. Okay. Just to make sure, Ricky, uh, what's just west of the Kragmar Range? The ocean? Good. And uh, what's to the east of the Kragmar Range? Well, east is Brynholm. Was Brynholm. Was. What happened to Brynholm, Ricky? I, I airdropped a Kraken on it. Precisely now. After wiping Brynholm off the map, where do you think the Kraken was going, Ricky? Hmm? Uh, back home. Which is? The ocean. Right, right. And last thing, what is smack in the middle between the ocean and Brynholm? The base of the Kragmar Range. Which was? The home of the... Oh, exactly. Now do you realize how bad you fucked up? Kinda. So not only did you piss off a borderline deity, but you caused it to go on a warpath destroying the home of an extremely intelligent and dangerous mythical beast. Then you took the victim of a disaster that you caused and brought him home with you. I mean, we could airdrop it somewhere else. I'm gonna feed your ass to the dragon. No, no, wait. Oh, I was not supposed to read that out loud, was I? Shit, fuck. Hey, Jerry. Not in the mood, Gary. Fuck off. Why don't you have some vitamin C? It'll make you feel better. What is this garbage? Fruit? Fuck out of here with that bullshit, Gary. Now, now, Jerry. The doctor says your blood sugar's too damn high. Can't be any higher than his ass thinking he could tell me what to eat. Well, either way, he's a doctor, Jerry. He says you need more fiber. But I don't like fiber. It tastes like shit. Well, how do you know? You haven't even tasted it yet. Yeah, there you go. I tasted it. It tastes like ass. Oh, quit being a wimp and just eat the banana. You need your fiber. You know, you're talking a lot of shit for somebody who's got to stand on the other side of a fence. Well, you know what? I'm recording this, so everybody's going to see you being a big wimp about a banana. You know what? Fuck you and your banana, Gary. Hey, that's my phone. Here, hold my I said, fuck off with the banana, Gary. Get out of here. Hey, Jerry, look what I got. Oh, shit, is that chocolate? Let me get hey, some of it. I didn't say it was for you. Well, I don't care. Just give it to me. Jerry, you know you can't. The doctor said, doctor said lick my balls, Gary. Give me the chocolate. <laughs> yeah, Ricky, Mike, and Deborah just called in sick, so you're going to have to stay for the night. Actually, I'm punching out in five minutes, so no. What do you mean, no? You don't have a choice. You're going to have to stay. You can go ahead and lick my balls. Ricky, it's your job. Nope, because I quit. What? <laughs> you can't just quit. I'm sorry, did I stutter? What? Did you even put in your two weeks? Give me two weeks to kiss my ass. Ricky, you can't just quit. Too late. It's too sudden. You can't just drop this on me out of nowhere. You mean like how you just dropped a double shift on me out of nowhere? Uh, okay, but that's not fair. Fair? <gasps> Look at you learning new words and shit. Seriously, listen, you need to stay. You need to lick my balls. Listen, Ricky, I work 12 hours today and I have the same shift tomorrow. If you don't stay, I'm working 36 hours. <laughs> 
that sounds like a you problem. It's been a long time since I killed a Jedi. <laughs> Clarify real quick. Did you mean like this? <laughs> <laughs>